Ever since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, companies around the world have been struggling to sell their products at a normal rate. Surprisingly, boat sales are the exception. The Michigan Boat Show has experienced an increase in sales, says Kenneth Holder, boat show representative. The, the demand went sky high. And we, we were like, wow, this is crazy. It's insane how much the boat sales have increased. You would have thought it would have dropped. It went through the roof. The U.S. boat market bottomed right after the financial crisis. But since 2012, the industry has been in growth mode, with even more growth since the pandemic. So increase in boat sales, uh, especially since the pandemic in 2020, there's been a huge spike in demand from consumers uh, related to boats, everything from pontoons to bass boats. It's difficult for the boat market to keep up with the demand of boats, says John Gibson, boat show representative. We've seen a huge increase in demand from consumers for boats, and it's been really hard for the supply chain to keep up with that. The Michigan Boat Show also struggles to get customers their boats in a timely fashion. Some of these guys are buying boats and waiting six months to get the boat or eight months. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've had customers buy them last year and still waiting for them, and they'll be in this year. Holder reflects on why boat sales have boomed since the start of the pandemic. I think people want to spend time with their family out on the water while this stuff's going on. The Michigan Boat Show allows customers to see their options. So a boat show allows multiple vendors to come together so that families can come and they can check out boats from Starboard Choice Marine. They can visit with Wylands Marina, multiple places. They could see the new ski technology, tubing technology, docks. There's even paddle boats upstairs. So it's a great opportunity to see everything related to the water and then choose the best product for your family. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Lee.